you guys and welcome back to another video today we are out in houston and we are going to this event called texas bonita market yo soy latina entonces ¿Por qué no? Just off the bat, off of impressions of the location, I'm honestly not too impressed by the location. I wish it was in a better area and I wish there was parking because no one likes to pull up to an event and have to worry about parking. All right, y'all, we pulled up. I know you can't see. It says Texas Bonita Market, which means Texas Pretty Market. Let's go. It's so cute. Oh, little clips, three dollars. Got Hello Kitty. The bunnies. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I like these. Oh, I like these too. Let's keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Oh, look, they got a little cute little backdrop to take pictures of right there. I think they got food down there, but we'll see. Yard, yard art for sale. Oh, these are so cute. I like that one. Hello. Hi. Good morning. This is cute. We got some shirts, some $10 Houston shirt, Houston made. I don't know why I thought that said my name. Astros, this is cute. Mm. And they got the H. No, y'all can't see the H. Space City. We're at another place. That last place wasn't so friendly, so I said hi and they didn't even really say anything, so. Leave us the sign, price list. Okay, okay, let's see. Oh, I already like this one. This is so cute. Houston Astros, I wonder how much this is. It says t-shirts, tank tops, tanks, crops, $28. Mm, I kind of really like that one. I think I'm gonna like this one, this business right here. Oh, it's so cute. Look at that one. I really like that one, that one's cute. Oh, they got a little small ones. I love tiny things, so. <gasps> Look at this one. Wow, the detail, it's crazy. Oh, look at Canes. Viva's the sign. Okay, they got the keychains. Oh, look. This is so cute. Oh. Do I need it? No. Do I want it? Yes. Look at that one. Thank you so much. Have fun. I like that one. I like all of them. are so cool these are gorgeous everything oh I like that one uh, no nah. we got some shirts some hats Oh, these are the cute shirts that I was talking about. I like this one. Although I think they said they established the price um, on the sign. I like these though. Yeah, these are cute. A lot of these are really cute. Very nice. Oh wow, look at this one. Houston. Cute. This is cute. If you wanna deck out your Mac, your computer. There used to be a time when I was obsessed with doing this, but these are so cute. All Houston's. It's fair to note that this event is kind of like um, like a rodeo type event. This is all Hello Kitty. This is so cute. Okay, I'm sorry if it's too bright, y'all. <gasps> Look at the little mirror. Hello Kitty. Oh, I like that bag up there. That's cute. Oh, I like Oh, yeah? Oh, look at that one. If I was really into plushies, 100% would go crazy in here. Oh, look at that one. That's cute. 
Like Beauty and the Beast right there. A little notebook. Small little ones. Looks like the flowers are, I was gonna say crochet, but no. I like that one though. Ooh, little um, things for your Crocs. Y'all know I love these. Don't know the price. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Please do not remove display. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't say the price. Guess you would have to ask. Sesame store. Look. We got the Colombian flag. Un verano sin ti. Lots of cute little stuff. Mm. Okay, okay. What's aggravating about this little area is that you're in the middle of the street, so that's a little aggravating. But if you can hear me, <laughs> let me know. We got more stickers with, I don't know, Barco? I don't know. I don't know, stickers, and then they're just giving a shout out to them in the back. So you get a pack of four stickers in each ones that you pick. I mean, I tell you, Locho. OG show. If you're Hispanic, for sure, definitely gotta watch that. I think this is the same shop with those stickers. Oh, look! Oh, the detail in these, nice. Oh, that's so pretty. And they do have little seating areas. Ooh, they got food, macaroons. You know what? I've never tried a macaroon in my life, ever. <laughs> they look good though. They look good. <laughs> oh, they have horchata, cinnamon, guayita. I don't know, guys. I've never tried one. Let me know what you guys, um, how they taste. Carlota slices, I don't know. Mm. Abuelita, I don't know. But yeah, this, this is what I was talking about right here. I gotta try one one day. At least that food business says something to me, I will say, they were nice. The ones that I just showed, they were really nice. Oh, whose drink is that? Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. I don't know how to describe this. Crochet, I think, yes. Lamparas, they got some cute lamps. Oh look, they got this cute little mirror to take some selfies in. If only it was clean. Honestly, y'all, it's not to throw shade, but it's the little things that matter, you know? Like, why would I want to take a picture in this dirty mirror? Come on now. They got these bags, cute little bags. I don't know how to describe them, but my mom loves them. At this point, they started playing music, so I couldn't really keep talking, you know, copyright issues. But I wanted to keep as much as the original audio of, as I could because I wanted to prove my point of literally every single tent that I went to, nobody said anything. Because I don't want somebody to say I'm lying because why would I have to lie? But I just want to show you that several times I had to say hi first and even then it was cricket. So. Oh. They got this one in here, it's a little cleaner. Oh, gorgeous. This might be their next event on March 23rd.
this business right here she made me feel so welcome she answered all my questions as soon as i walked up there she was welcoming had a great smile she put her phone down she was explaining everything and i loved it and the prices were reasonable as well and they're healthy candles i put the information up there and that was the thing about this video i honestly kind of felt like scrapping the video because i i didn't want to show any love to these places that don't even do the bare minimum we just say hi to people when they walk up to the tent you know what i mean like uh -uh, um but you know this is a a video so you can see what these events are or at least my personal experience and then here uh there was a little area for free sparkling water and that was really nice they got a little bull right here nice keep moving y'all <laughs> the bathroom but how cute oh my god my weakness what what stop hey I love your outfit thanks so they got these jackets you know I'm gonna look at the jackets okay got these entering my doing lo que me hace feliz era <laughs> That's so cute. Ayer llorando, hoy perreando. They have these. Okay, let's talk about my overall experience and I'm gonna be honest with you because I don't care to lie with every time that I walked up to a tent nobody said anything it was crickets for the most part it was crickets I'll say who did say something in a second but for the most part 99.8% of the people there did not say anything to me didn't address me either didn't address me or when they did it was kind of like like a fake smirk or they were on their phones it seemed like everybody was on their phones correct me if i'm wrong but whenever you're having a event any event where you're trying to sell your product don't you want to interact with your public interact with the buyer the potential buyer i don't know how latinos expect to sell anything if they're not welcoming or nice or anything and it's not even that they're rude it's the fact that they don't even acknowledge that you're there okay okay all right all hispanic people and they're all just we're all just looking around whatever whatever but everyone is everyone has an attitude everyone has an attitude and when you're trying to say excuse me they're like mm, like you're in the way and i'm just being polite and saying excuse me that's how i was raised and whenever i approach you or i go to your house i greet the, the people in that house so whenever i'm walking up to your tent i'm saying hi but in that scenario it's not 100 percent like a house you get what I'm saying? it's like you need to make yourself known you need to make yourself known to the public and are you trying to sell something or not that's my thing are you guys really trying to sell something or not because it didn't seem like the energy was there and y'all really were trying to sell anything and correct me if i'm wrong but if you're a vendor you're paying for that spot in this bonita event so all i'm saying is if i was out there 
and it was my business and I paid for this spot as a vendor, then I would be giving it my all. I'm trying to sell my product to get my money back for this spot that I bought for this event. And that way I can make a lot of new impressions, people can meet me, and people like me who are recording. And I'm not, I'm not saying that I matter, because I like it doesn't matter. But I'm saying, you know, people that are interacting. Everything is social media these days, so, you know, it takes one, sometimes it takes one bad review, you know what I mean? So... Will I be coming back to these events? No, I will not. I will not. I will never come back. Like I always tell you guys, first impressions are everything. And I know this is just one event. And technically, it's the vendors, not the people. But again, it's all. it was all Latinos. So, mm -mm. and I kind of had a feeling that I was going to be that. And I hate to say this, but it's always like this. Me personally, speaking from experience, whether it's restaurants, something like this, anything, whenever it's dealing with Latinos, they always have an attitude, or it's something, something this, something that, it's always something. But I'm gonna be honest and raw. Whenever I go to a white restaurant, it's not that, it's not that, they're nice. Whenever I go to a vendor event where it's white people it's not that they're so nice oh hi hi it's all smiles and just that it's like mm, they got me they got me even if i'm not gonna buy the product it's it's just so welcoming and i'm like oh like i appreciate that only in two tents out of all those tents that i feel welcome i feel welcome by this one lady who was selling candles and i i did show that clip she was really nice she was welcoming and she was interactive off the bat and then the second one which i'm not surprised and i'm not and this is not me trying to throw shade or anything because it's not shade, it's actually a compliment, but it was the girl at the plant section because there was a, like a little plant area and I just, if you guys know me, I love plants and just the fact that I saw plants, I'm like, oh my god, I don't need more plants. That's what I was telling her. She was so nice. Those two interactions that I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely going to fuck with them for sure. I'm definitely going to check out their business on social media, you know, show some love because they stood out to me. Because everybody else was bland. Everybody else was nothing. They weren't speaking. I just won't do it. When I could go to a white business and get greeted and they can all be happy. And they give off good vibes. In that event, I was really kind of rushing to get out of there, to be honest with you. That's how I felt. That's how I felt. But that's just my opinion, guys. If you're interested in taking the experience all in for yourself, then go ahead. I hope you have a good experience, a better experience than I did, of course. With that being said, I will see you in the next video. Please consider liking, comment, sharing, and subscribing. Bye.